Okay, Mike, this is Eric, and this is the tutorial for using your program, uh, GNARL. Um, go in your program files and open it. And we have program popping up. Now, it is kind of clunky, but after you get used to it, it really isn't that bad. Now it'll start and show you a little sample thing, but we'll go and create a new, just leave all these blank for now. You'll notice that there's nothing there, but if you look at the corners, there's little things. That's your beginning and ending. And there's really nothing you can do about those, but you can create points along the line and then adjust them to the frequency you want. Now it's easier, I think, if you right click and then take this properties box and change how long you're going to have each frequency after that dot. So like the dot I have selected right now is this dot I believe. And so we want the event duration to last maybe, I don't know, we'll just call it a minute for now. And then the frequency you want is going to be the difference between the beat frequency and the bass frequency. So if we want to do just a nice, calm, relaxing kind of thing, uh, maybe a little concentration, we'll go for maybe 20 hertz. So we'll set the beat frequency, which is what I always set to the higher one, to 60, and the bass frequency to 40. As you can see, the difference is 20. So the frequency you have is going to be 20. And I set the volume to each to 1 just so it's loud enough when you compile it. And if you look at this, it did all kinds of screwy things. Because I have a bunch of points over here that are lame. So I'll just delete those for you. And now we have our straight line. See, as you can see, we have 60 and 40. And that'll last for the good portion of a minute. Now, that's all good and well, but generally you're going to want to adjust the frequency during the timing. So, we'll make it, um, for maybe 10 minutes, it'll start at that frequency. And then at the 5 minute mark, we'll create another point. And this point, we'll try to lower the frequency of the entire thing a bit, maybe to get a little bit of your relaxation and so lower it down to maybe about I don't know 10 Hertz so the difference here again is gonna be 10 Hertz so that's what you're at so you can see it automatically adjusts for it to slide down nice and gradually but the problem with that is your end point here is still going to be at the original as you can see on the left and right when I move the end points kinda of fly around with each other so to fix that I create a point right next to the beginning point, move it over to where I want it, change it. Our original was 20 hertz, so we're good like that. And now we can move this back point without causing any bad things, because it'll be a lower thing for about half a second. Okay, that's about it, and you should probably be able to figure it out from there, so good luck and have fun.